Hello and welcome back to Gold Rush. Yeah, I am not parked here for a, a, a particular reason. I am here, but there's fucking nothing on the front end of this car. I'm not parked here. I've literally, you know, cocked up because I was driving. And I'm hammering this fucking in reverse. The car's stuck. The fucking the thing is stuck. How? There's nothing underneath the fucking wheels. The wheels are on the bastard ground. The front end isn't touching anything. Look. Clearly see. Space between it, the wall and it. The back tyres are on the fucking tarmac. Spinning. I've got the differential fucking locked. <laughs> I've been here for at least five fucking minutes. Trying to reverse out of something that I should be able to reverse out of. Nothing. This shit needs getting fixed. How the fuck does a truck get stuck on fresh air? It's a bit like the fucking digger getting stuck on a tiny piece of fucking dirt. Yeah, I think it's stuck on, on it. It's stuck on that tiny bit of fucking dirt there. That's it here on this tyre. On the uh, right driver's side, right tyre on the uh, front. I believe it's stuck on that. And there's the other side of the world. This is unbelievable. It should this this truck shouldn't be getting stuck on that. Unbelievable. I'm reversing. I've got literally. You see it. Reverse gear. Am I pushing this thing? It looks like I'm pushing it. No, the fucking bonnet just keeps popping up. The animation. Yeah, it looks like I'm pushing this fucking truck. How the what the fucking hell's that? How's that happened? Right, where's really? This is this, how is it stuck? Someone could it? Film could explain to me in the comment section how this vehicle has gotten stuck like this. What's it stuck on? Because to me, there's nothing there for this thing to get stuck. And if it's that bit of grass or whatever it is underneath that front fucking tyre, that's bullshit. It's supposed to be a fucking truck. Pretty sure it's a 4x fucking 4. There we go, one gets stuck on a tiny bit of fucking dirt. There's nothing stopping the ground clearance of it. Look, nothing under there. I understand if it were up to its fucking door hinges in fucking dirt or something. It isn't. That's fucking a path. That's a bit of dirt. That's a busted wall. And now I'm stuck apparently glued to the fucking wall.
the developers of this game need to do something about it. This is fucking ridiculous. I mean, look, I've, you clearly see I've got it in fucking reverse. Because there's fucking first. There's reverse. See, reverse lights are on. And I'm not going away from the wall. See if I turn, uh, turn right. So it's supposed to reverse that and turn the steering wheel right or left. This is fucking stupid. Oh yeah, and every time I go onto fucking out onto the uh, concrete, you know, on a real proper road, it tells me to turn the fucking wrench off. That pisses me off. If you could, if you people who make this game, if you could make it so it doesn't constantly fucking remind me, say warning. Turn your difference off, you don't need it on the road. I don't give a fuck. I just don't want to see that fucking symbol all the fucking time popping up. Telling me to turn my difference off because you don't need it on the asphalt. It's annoying. This is fucking annoying. There's no dirt underneath the fucking truck to stop it. It's not beached or anything. And then them back tyres are acting like they're spinning on the fucking spot. When they're on fucking... They're on the road. There's no there's really no need for this. I'm pressing reverse, this fucking truck should reverse the check engine lights isn't on so <laughs> somebody tells me it's is that no yeah it looks like a bit of a dirt underneath one of the wheels No, that's me, that's the fucking tread marks. Right. Yeah, I've not put the handbrake on. Because what's the point? The car is stuck on fresh air, look. You can clearly see the space between that fucking broken bit of wall and the front of this fucking truck. It's glitched into the fucking wall. You see the fucking hood lifting up. It's glitched into the wall. For fuck's sake, fix your fucking game. Could that be it? I'm sorry, but it's still one wheel on the... So you see, you see fucking back tires moving, you see front tires moving. See the clown in the driver's seat, and yeah, it's not reversing. Why? No reason for me to be stuck for 15 fucking minutes. There needs to be a reset button. So you can fucking just reset where you are. Get it patched into the game. This is fucking ridiculous. Only thing I'm doing is going into town to grab a fucking bucket. 
you know what? Turn the fucking lights off, turn that off. Close that. Fuck the car. Fuck fuck that piece of trash. I'll fucking walk in a town. With this ridiculous fucking loading bullshit. I should have done this fucking eight minutes ago. Unfortunately for you, my viewers, uh, yeah. Fucking nine, I've been almost ten minutes, around ten minutes there you've had to watch me struggling to get to fucking free a truck that's not going to get freed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fucking leave it there. You know what? I'm even going to smelt the fucking gold. Fuck it. We've got 6.43 ounces, 431 ounces. We'll wait for this to load in again. There goes the lag. Take a little bit of a shortcut. Oh. No, can't take a bit of a shortcut because apparently there's no piece of ground there. Get ready to get a gold smelted. <sighs> what the fuck? Now let's run up, run up the fucking. Run up to the bank with six ounces of gold in my fucking hands. Otherwise, I'd normally I have to throw it in the back of that fucking pathetic fucking truck that I've just left here. It's like until they patch this fuck, get a patch out for it to fix the vehicles to stop them fucking getting stuck on fresh air. I'm going to be running to them from town. Oh, and then apparently, uh, this this is so stupid, I can't fucking use that. I have to chuck the gold on the ground. To use the bank. Thank fuck this isn't fucking multiplayer. I got almost 8,000 for that. Yeah, if this were multiplayer now, and you drop your gold like that. So I could just walk up, pick your gold up and flog it. We'll run away with it. I'll take one bucket. Have we got a fucking truck I can buy? Probably no. What do you get one I am? Got one I am. You know what? I can't carry anything. So I was gonna get so I was gonna buy a chain or something. But you know it's gonna take fucking ever to get I need some of these chains or something. So I can pull the fucking truck out. Right, you know what, let's get to the fucking thingy, get in the digger. And try and push the dick, push it out with a digger. This is fucking ridiculous. I came to t oh, come into town to pick a bucket up so I could you know, get three buckets of dirt instead of one. Well, I have one spare. So when the first two fill up, I f start filling that one up. Oh yeah, and if you want, if you want, if you want, if you want mind leaving a comment in the comment section about. 
whether or not I should hire somebody to do the digging for me or just keep doing it myself but I'd be grateful if you'd leave a comment about that yes or no on hiring someone obviously it'd have to be someone who's got a high work rate you know so I can have fun running into fucking town because the cunting jeep the fucking cunting pickup truck is completely fucking useless now it's completely ruined stuck in a fucking position where it shouldn't be stuck I cannot believe I had to run into town to get his fucking bucket. You know what? Get one fucking, one more try. Nope. Completely stuck. Fuck you, truck. Unbelievable this is. I like this game a lot but that is taking the fucking piss. I think this is where you drop your slow rear somewhere. Or whatever it is for. Fuck knows. Oh my god. Unbelievable. And yeah, I'm not even going to get to do any fucking mining. Was the whole point of this fucking game because I've had to run into town because the truck is fucking completely stuck on fresh air. And I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up ending this episode here. So if you don't mind leaving a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed, comment in the comment section, share the video, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.